found another nice park to fly in. Got this gazebo here. Uh, place to sit. It's got a lot of people walking around. Gotta be careful. Nice park though. This area is more open than where I came in. When I came in, it was pretty, uh, a lot of jungle, a lot of trees. But this area seems pretty good. Uh, I don't know what it's like down that way. It's a pretty big park. But like I said, there's a lot of people walking around and I might stay near the gazebo here. It's quite open here and I'll be able to be able to fly here no problem I don't I think uh, I don't know what the name of this park is I'm on my way to uh, Liverpool a shopping place where I can buy I'm, I'm looking for another hard drive uh, external hard drive the one I have is full I got no place to store my my videos anymore and uh, the cost of some of the things here are more than in Canada. I can, uh, unless they're on sale or something somewhere. But anyways, here I should be able to fly around this gazebo. I'll fly in through it. And it looks like a pretty big park down that way, big open areas. So I might wander down there and see what I can find down that way first. All right, guys, let's take a walk. I guess flying for today is over. I switched cases to carry my Avada in. Never think, never thinking I need goggles to fly. I did fly it without goggles. I don't know if it'll record or anything, but I had to fly it line of sight and flying with the motion controller is weird without goggles. You can't, especially when it's coming towards you, the, the um, Left to right is backwards, of course. Uh, when you tip right, it'll go left. When you tip uh, the other way, it goes the other way. And up and down is the same. But I can't go fast because if I'm turning and what have you, I'm not just flying in a straight line. So that my coordination would be off. I don't know, uh, especially like I said, coming towards me. Left, left is right and right is left, uh, unless you're good at that. And so I flew around here back and forth uh, about a meter or two off the ground, not even two, one and a half meters off the ground and not even around too many trees. I just real close to me, uh, 30, 40 feet away. So wait, when we get back home, we're going to head over to Liverpool now and see if I can find myself that hard drive, external drive. Watching me? You watching me? That's your hole. I can see you came out of your hole. Man, the wilder, like the, the wilder they are, the more they, the drab they look, the same colors as the rock. But he's gonna probably crawl into his hole here if I try to go by him. Yeah, he's already on the move. <laughs> and quick. <laughs> I found a couple things of interest. Whatever this plant is, I don't know what it is, but it's got that little curly, curly things on the edges of its leaves. I'm very amazed at the plants that grow here. Look at that. And then I found one leaf from another plant. <laughs> Look at this thing. It is just as tall as I am. It's like a boat. There's my foot. It's like a boat. Look at that compared to my foot. Holy. Weirdest plants I've ever seen. Okay, 
just a little ways down here and then across the street and we are at Liverpool. This plant here, look at the size of these leaves. I'm always impressed by the size of some things. They're either very dainty or massive, big. And lots of iguanas everywhere. They're trying to get all the sun they can. I guess when they see you coming, they're not far from their hole. <laughs> when they see you coming, they're gone like a shot. I guess if you want to have one as a pet, you gotta catch them when he's young. And then raise them from there. Okay, let's go across the street. Right there? Yes. Okay, that's it. So Liverpool, yes. Right there. Now I now I see the sign. Okay. We're off to Liverpool. See if we can get that hard drive. <laughs> 